Hey everyone, this video is going to be different than the rest. It probably won't have many views on it, but I felt to go over this topic because I think it's an important one to cover. You see, all was going well with my game Growth of Redemption. About a week and a half ago, I decided to go and check out some pixel art tutorials. And as I was checking out some by my sensei Pixel Pete, I decided, you know what, I'm going to finally check the game out. You see, I've never bothered to check out his game Dwerve, ever. I always skip it every chance he brings it up. If you've ever seen any of his tutorials, he's always plugging his game in every chance he gets. Seriously, I want to get at his level of marketing one day. I can tell you right now if I've ever seen or checked out his game, Growth of Redemption would have never been made. Anyways, I went and glanced at the trailer and my heart dropped. I couldn't believe my eyes. There was what I thought at the time an original and fresh idea was playing right before my eyes. I quickly hopped over to Steam and downloaded his demo for the game Dwerve. As I stood in awe as to what I was witnessing, he not only had the main mechanics fully on display, a goal I was trying to reach one day for my game, because I was nowhere close to where I was imagining, currently for my game, Growth of Redemption. But he had even solved all the issues I was plagued with. And oh boy, my reaction when I saw the summoning system for his turrets. Oh my god, look at his summoning system. Jeez. Why didn't I think of that? That That's so... That's so simple. Like... I was, I was thinking so complex with this fancy menu system on how to switch turrets for my game. And here he is. He's just a simple button map on the bottom screen on the UI. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like, th there's a lesson learned here, guys. If you, if you, maybe sometimes you should approach it very simple when you're doing some complex system. Like, oh, I should have thought of that. That's so smart. So now I'll beg the question. What do I do? Now that my game idea has already been done before, thinking my game being a top-down adventure slash tower defense game will be the first of its kind, when it clearly wasn't. You see, this ended my game briefly. I hadn't announced anything yet, but I was convinced to giving up. What was the point if it had already been done before, and better than anything I could ever do? I was so convinced I had already moved on. In fact, I started drawing and animating the next game I had in mind and made up some excuse as to why I was delaying any progress on my game. Speaking of the game that replaced Growth of Redemption... Okay, so little known story here, but I have been trying to develop this game since 2019. I don't even have a title to this or anything, like on the files for these images, I always call it Slime Girl. Um, to a short description of what you're seeing here, I was trying to think of a game where you play as a hero, and it's about this girl who turns, uh, gets the powers of a slime. Like they kind of like fuse together and then she has the powers of a slime and she can bounce and stuff like that. And this game has gone through so many iterations, one of which has spinned off into an, a separate idea because it was just too good to be associated with my current idea and this game has been in development for since 2019 and it's not taken off like I keep scrapping it and scrapping it, it hasn't even reached any engine I I can't get past the design phase and it, it has changed game idea I've changed the game idea to this so many times it went from being a top-down to an RPG back to a top-down and now recently it's turned into a platform <laughs> <laughs> One day I will get this game off the ground and finally code it because uh, I'm so motivated and so fascinated with the character designs and I, and this character design there's many different character designs of it by the way uh, one day it's going to get uh, finally off the ground and I could finally start coding it but for now uh, <laughs> this is what I got so as I plugged away at the new game paper cuts then released a very interesting video he had just gone through what I'd gone through. I won't go into full details as to what he said, link is down in the description, but to sum up how he got out of the death traps to games, he was motivated to make his game very different than the other games he's recently discovered that was just like his idea. He even reached out to that developer and told him about it, which then he was challenged to make his own game Swooping Justice very different. Now somewhat motivated myself, I picked myself up and played the entire demo of Dwerve. 
I began to take notes of every mechanic in the game, down to how the UI looked and where it was placed. And honestly, I once again hit a brick wall. The big issue with all this is Dwarf is exactly what I was envisioning my game to feel. There was no way around it. The only difference between our games was that with mines you summon a plant, not a turret. That's when I had my first moment. The first thing I can do is lean on that. My plants can have a very different effect and a way of attacking the enemy than what he has. I've also come up with a slightly different way of attacking than what was on Dwerve. These changes were very small, but they were enough to motivate me to continue in developing my game Growth for Redemption. I do plan on one day messaging Pixel P, aka my sensei, about my game, its similarities, maybe right before releasing the first demo of it, or when I have enough footage to show him the difference in our game, and see what he thinks of it, but that's only after I've gotten to that point where I'm back on track with the game. If I can give out any advice to any new indie devs out there who one day might run into this issue, is that no idea is original. Okay, except maybe for papers please. But I, I'm missing the point. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is before diving headfirst into what you think is an original idea, do some research and see if someone has done your idea. Because I can guarantee you there's a 95% chance someone has already done your idea. And if you have sadly encountered this, don't panic or get depressed. Instead, play that game and take notes. See what has been done on that game that you have planned on doing in your game and challenge yourself to go in a different direction. Add something in your game that strays away from the original idea, even if it's a small change like what I'm adding to my game. And make sure you message the developer that you are making a game that very similar to what that dev had, uh, has already made and that you won't be an exact copy and paste as his game. After this video gets posted, I will finally begin rebuilding my game Growth of Redemption from the ground up. I will be adding state machines and most importantly remaking the summoning system. The next official devlog of Growth of Redemption will probably take a while to be released. Until then, I will try to post other stuff on here as well, and even share any collabs I have going on with other YouTuber devs out there, which as of right now, uh, <laughs> I got nothing, but you can always just DM me to change that. Oh, and go check out Papercut's version on the same topic. Link is down in the description. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is Ghostbit, and I'll see you on the next adventure.